here is a budget Dobsonian telescope. This one's called a Skywatcher, and I'll show you how it moves on its axis. But first of all, just a bit of mass. The mirror is 200 millimeters wide, and the focal length is 1,200 millimeters. The Skywatcher telescope came with two eyepieces a 10 millimeter one, which is on the left of my hand and the right, on the right hand side is a Super 25 the 10 millimeter eye piece as you can see much smaller eye relief more difficult to use and of course things move much more quickly across the eye piece with a very small field of view and a magnification of 120 the 25 millimeter eye piece gives a magnification of 48 easier to see through but these are both for your eyes they're not really suitable for a camera because a camera can't really, as you can see, look at my camera now, I can't really fill that eyepiece. And my camera can try, okay, um, but it's more, it's difficult, isn't it, to get a steady view on this, to actually find the correct angle on this one. The beauty of a Dobsonian telescope is, it's, is you can move it around and if you're strong enough I can get one handle here, it twists around on its axis, another handle here, if I twist them tight I'm actually strong enough to actually lift this up and move it short distances like so. Okay, most people wouldn't be, but however if you are strong enough only on flat ground you can move it around. They do come with a lid for the top and lids for this, your finder scope. Now, the way they move is, as you can see, a Dobsonian telescope can swivel very easily round anywhere 360 on, the, on its base, okay? But it's also got Teflon um, coated rings and it's t these, these are tension rods, okay, that hold it and you can tilt it slowly, okay? I wouldn't have these too loose because I, I don't want it to be too loose to move, but you can take the tension off a little bit to make it easier to move, okay, like so. Right, then I can tilt it to the sky. I don't have to fix it on the pole star. Okay, this telescope here, I would tend to find, turn it round. Say if I was looking for the moon, you turn it round. You then yourself get up to the eyepiece and you find the object, and it's got crosshairs inside it. The eyepiece itself has um, crosshairs in it. Okay, where you can actually then. Uh, see and aim on what you want and you want whatever is in the middle of the crosshairs to be in the middle of your view okay there's the crosshairs there and you have to set it so that they match and then you can you, you can adjust this using your little screws on the side of the actual finder okay so you may need to look at something like the moon find it in the middle of your crosshairs okay and then do 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 it so that it's then in the middle of the eyepiece when you look the good points are that with this large mirror, which I'll focus on there, um, you get plenty of light and the light comes from the stars to the mirror, comes up to this secondary, which is another coated optics. These are Pyrex on this model. And then comes out through an eyepiece. Now I have taken the eyepiece off, okay, and instead I'd put on this lens here, which probably came from a projector. And it's a very long focal length, 8.5 centimeters or 85 millimeters, which is probably about three times to four times longer focal length than the average eyepiece. What this does is give you a much smaller uh, magnification, but a massive field of view, and that's what you need. So you wouldn't be able to look at that, that through your eyes with any comfortable viewing it's not for looking through your eyes although you can if you stand back it's for camera okay so basically the tube I've put here which is just a piece of um, from a, a toilet roll paper I've just cut a length of tube and the idea is the camera will then fit inside this tube here like so now you're seeing down and I am and the circle is what you see in the sky I can be able to see stars inside that circle of course, if you're lucky enough to have a camera where you can actually take the lens off the front of the camera, um, a special SLR camera, then you can just screw your camera directly into um, one of these 
attachments that come with the Dobsonian or you can buy what's called um, T-ring adapters for your particular camera and then you, you're looking directly through uh, the light will focus directly onto the CCG chip inside your camera okay but I'm just showing a beginner's way of how you can get some shots of the sky and hopefully maybe a galaxy or two